Hi, lovely people out there. I welcome you to my brand new channel where I will be sharing with you coding tips, tutorials, and real world projects. And that will be every week. So today, I want to begin with you on HTML, understanding and working with HTML. So if you are learning to code or just love building things, then you are in the right place. So stick around. This HTML tutorial is ideal for complete beginners and early learners who want to understand how websites are built from the ground up. You don't need any prior coding experience, just curiosity and the willingness to learn. So basically, this tutorial is perfect for one, absolute beginners with no coding background. Two, student exploring web development for the first time. Three, entrepreneurs and small business owners who want to build or manage their own websites. And four, the last, anyone curious about how the web works and wants a solid foundation in HTML and CSS before moving to more advanced tools. So by the end of this tutorial, you will be able to build clean structured web pages using HTML and style them with CSS. You will also understand how browsers will interpret your code, how to structure content effectively and how to make web pages accessible and responsive. So, if you are ready, let's kick start. So, before we write any code, we will first of all set up our environment and download all the tools that we need to work with. So the first tool that we will need to download and install is called Visual Studio Code, also known as VS Code. It's a powerful code editor where you will write your HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and other code blocks. And it supports syntax highlighting, extensions like Git, Prutia formatting, and live server previews. So to install it, you have to visit their website and I'll be linking it in the description. So you download it for your OS, your operating system, and then install it on your machine. After that, you open it and also install these extensions. The extensions like Live Server, which lets you see your web page updates live, and also Predia, which automatically formats your code. So that is it for Visual Studio Code. And the next tool that we will need is called Git. So Git is a version control system and it tracks changes in your code. So you can go back if you break something. And Git is also good for collaboration and also code management, especially with versions. So you can also install this tool when you visit Git's um, official website and then you install it and during setup, you should allow the default settings for now. Yeah. So after installation, you open your terminal or bash, but when you have the Visual Studio already installed, you can open it and then open the terminal and inside the terminal you just type git dash dash version 
this is to confirm if the git is really installed on your machine and after that you can also set your identity with maybe your username or your email so that is up to you if you want to do it so yeah before i forget let me help you with the git version check so i will open my visual studio code and then open the terminal so this i'm just using it to check for you to see if my gate is installed so to check it i just need to type git space dash dash version and then press enter and now you can see my version is 2.35.1 so this is how to confirm if git is really installed on your machine let's go back so the next one is node js and npm so the node js lets you run javascript outside the browser and npm is node package manager which helps you to install tools like react express and others so also to install this you need to visit the node.js website and then install the lts which is the long-term support version after installing like we did with the git you need to also open your terminal and then type node-v to confirm if node is installed and also you do same for npm so that one to let me open my visual studio code and we check it so node dash v and let's check so this is my node version which is 20.11.1 and also when i check with the npm the version the version is 10.2.4 so i have all these tools installed which means i can start with coding so what is html html stands for hypertext markup language is used to create a skeleton of any website with html we only declare what should be presented to a visitor or viewer of our website so the buttons the text the list the images etc all are added using html so though html is at times referred to as um, programming language even though it has no logic but it is best described as a markup language and it's good to know that html page may have bunch of elements which are read interpreted and rendered by different browsers into human readable content on screen and the basic html page structure consists of a doc type html head meta title and body so let's quickly take a look at the structure of html yeah so this is the basic structure of html page it has a doc type and it has um html with language which is what i'm using is english and also we have the head and the meta and the title 
and the body. So let's now um, take a look at what each part does from the dog type down to the body type. Let's see what each part does. So going on with the dog type, it defines the HTML version used in the document, which in our case is HTML5. It's a declaration that should be added at the start of every HTML document. So that is it for the doc type. The HTML. The HTML opening tag and its closing tag indicates the start and end of HTML structure. And no markup should come after the closing tag. The lang attribute which we saw or we saw on the diagram defines the primary language of the page using the ISO language code. So the EN as I said stands for English. The next is the head. The head tag opens the head section which holds the metadata or information about a website. Note that not all that is contained in the head tag appears in the main browser window. The head tag can also contain imports from external style sheets and scripts. So that is for the head. Now moving on, the meta. The meta tag is meant to give browsers some information about the HTML document. They also sit in the head element and are used to define things like keywords, page description, character encoding, viewport settings, and the author of the document. The title tag defines a title for your HTML page which is shown in the browser's title bar. So whenever you visit a website, when you check the tabs, you will see so-so and so title in it. This is the title and when you get there, you will see it in real life. So going on to the last, the body. The body tag holds every content which is intended to be displayed on screen to all visiting users of your website. That is all visible and audible content of your page, such as headings, images, videos, tables, hyperlinks, paragraphs, etc. They are all to be all included in the body tag. So no content intended to be shown on screen should be added after the closing tag of the body. So this is the basics about HTML. So you have to at first understand it, know how it works, and then you can use it to work. So with all this said, I would like to end this lesson here. And in the next video, we are going to look at elements of HTML. So we will know what elements are and how we can use them to build our web page. Thanks so much for watching. And if you found this helpful, please consider liking the video and subscribing. It really helps me grow this channel. I would also like to hear your thoughts or questions in the comments. And feel free to share this with anyone who might find it useful. See you in the next video.